Now that might conclude the formal presentation of our awards, but it doesn't conclude the evening. We have a very, very special treat. Everybody can sit down. But we have a very special treat. We have one of our most distinguished alums with us who always impresses me because despite having literally often the, uh, the weight of the world on his shoulders, he finds time to come to campus to teach students, to talk to students. He's always here with alums. He's attending basketball games, football games. He's always at his reunions and class events. And it's my deep honor and privilege to, ha to call up our governor, Governor Ed Rendell, class of 1965, he's going to come up and share some remarks. Don't say I'm at a loss for words because uh, I don't think that's ever happened, but I was expecting to be a spectator tonight and it was frankly uh, delightful. <laughs> and here I am. But let me just say a, a couple of quick words. I have, like all of the winners uh, have said, I had a great undergraduate experience here and, and I've enjoyed my contact with Penn throughout, including teaching. I teach uh, one course. Uh, one semester uh, in the school year, uh, and I'm just uh, overwhelmed with how bright and resourceful and creative our students are. Not creative in the way that Dave Montgomery was creative as an undergraduate. Dave was credited by one of his professors with being a, uh, the most creative student he ever met when it came to excuses why he couldn't get a paper in on time or, or take a specific exam. But these students are really bright, and it's just invigorating to teach them. <laughs> so I've enjoyed my experience here. In fact, uh, I gave the graduation speech to the university's veterinary school at this very stage this spring with our uh, dog, Ginger, uh, who has had uh, two ACL operations <laughs> performed by the veterinary school. And they did a great, great job uh, performing those operations. However, uh, Midge and I figure that we will be paying for those operations for the next six or seven years. <laughs> but uh, Penn's a wonderful place. It's a great part of the experience here in Philadelphia. Philadelphia would be not nearly the great city as it is without Penn. And uh, same thing for the Commonwealth. Uh, when I travel the length and breadth of our 67 counties, uh, there's always some veterinarian who was educated here, a uh, county commissioner who was educated here. It's amazing the impact that Penn has made, not only in the Philadelphia region, but throughout the Commonwealth and throughout the United States of America. So I want to say congratulations to all of our winners uh, tonight, to, to Jimmy, uh, uh, who helped us kick off the Marion Anderson Award, which has become a real staple for what we do in, as a city, and we get the biggest and the brightest stars come to honor the memory of Marian Anderson. Uh, and Jimmy was a great part of that. To David, who not only has done a great job in, in his capacity uh, as leader of our ball club, but who introduced me to Midge. And for that, uh, I am eternally grateful. He also has done a great job helping me get elected. And for that, I am grateful most days. <laughs> not the last four or five, but most days. <laughs> Uh, and to all of our winners, congratulations, and uh, uh, we all owe a great debt of gratitude towards Penn, and I know we all share that feeling.